If you're looking for the best Xiaomi phone to buy, you could easily get confused by the sheer variety of devices the company puts out. The tech giant has a few different sub brands it puts phones out under and each of them has separate lines of devices too. We have brought some of the best Xiaomi phones in this list, so make sure to watch this video till the end. And for more information about the price, make sure to check out the links in the description. And if you're new to this channel, like, comment and subscribe. There are plenty of Poco phone smartphones on the market right now, and the Poco X3 Pro is one of them. It's a pro version of the NFC model. The handset has the same issues other Poco devices do. There is no 5G, its cameras are iffy, and it's pretty bulky phone, but it's still a good device for its price. There's a great processor at play here. The screen looks good and has a top refresh rate, and the battery will survive hours of gaming. So if you're looking for a decent gaming and streaming phone, this is a good option. It's cheaper than the Poco F3 in this list. If you're looking for a phone that's good for gaming but don't want to splash out on a top-end device, you might find a Black Shark device great for you and the Black Shark 3 is the third generation phone from Xiaomi's gaming-focused subsidiary. The Black Shark 3 has plenty of top-end specs like a Snapdragon 865 chipset, 5G connectivity, a big battery and a 90Hz refresh rate screen but does not cost as much as many of its similarly spec competitors. The phone has a great camera too, which is somewhat of a surprise. Sure, this phone is not for everyone. And if you're not an avid mobile gamer, we would not recommend it for you. Not least because its design is certainly divisive. But if you're prone to a game of PUBG Mobile, Fortnite or Call of Duty Mobile, you should definitely consider it. Since you are only seeing Xiaomi's 2021 Super Phone, the Mi 11 Ultra, halfway through this list, you can probably tell it has a few issues. The large camera bump really gets in the way. It costs a huge amount and we found it had an overheating issue that affected performance. Look past those issues and you have got a fantastic phone. It charges incredibly quickly. It uses the top end Snapdragon 888 chipset. The cameras are great and the display looks amazing. The Xiaomi Mi T10 series were late 2020 additions to the Mi 10 phones and the Mi 10 T Pro is the top of that new squad which sits above the Mi 10 but below the Mi 10 T Pro. Ironically, this order goes the other way in our best Xiaomi phones roundup. The Xiaomi Mi 10 T Pro is great as a cut price flagship. It has the same main camera, software and processing power but has a lower quality design and display to balance the books and keep the cost low. There are a few great additions to this phone that are absent in the Mi 10 series, though like a really useful side-mounted fingerprint scanner, 144Hz display and an absolutely huge camera bump. Xiaomi's Poco phone sub-brand became very prolific between 2020 and 2021 and the Poco F3 is part of the third generation of devices. 
The phone is a display and performance champion, making it great for streaming, gaming and scrolling through social media. As a low-cost phone, there are things you're missing out on. The cameras are not great and there's no wireless charging, but not everyone needs those things. The Xiaomi 11T Pro is both a mid-range take on the Mi 11 and a year-on successor to the Mi 10T Pro. Though it's worth nothing that it was the first phone to lose the Mi branding previously used by the company. This is a great mid-range headset with a powerful chipset, good-looking screen, useful camera array with intuitive fingerprint scanner. If you like the look of the Mi 11, you will find many of its features here like the 5 megapixel tele macro lens and plenty full camera modes. There were a few issues with the phone though, its fingerprint sensor, though quick to use, was a bit too high for some people to reach. The main problem we had was that it got hot really quickly, which reduced processing power. Overall though, this is a great Xiaomi phone and if you need a new mid-range handset, it's definitely worth checking out. If you're looking for the best phone from Xiaomi sub-brand Redmi, the Note 10 Pro is that phone. It has top specs and a low price, making it a solid buy. The phone has a super high resolution, 108 megapixel main camera, a big and bold 120Hz screen, and a massive 5020mAh battery. SG phones go, it's a star. Sure, there are few things you miss out on with the Note 10 Pro. There's no 5G here, mainly. But if you don't need that, the phone is all you need. The Xiaomi Poco X3 NFC is a surprising phone mainly because it is one. This phone has really impressive specs for a handset at its price. The device has loads of processing power, a really long-lasting battery, and a 120Hz screen, all for a really low price. If you pick this device up, you're certainly getting more than you paid for, in the best way possible. Sure, there are some quicks, not everyone will lie. The phone is really big and the cameras don't make same price competitors, but this is a still a worthy buy. That's the best budget phone right now. The Xiaomi Mi 11 is the company's flagship for 2021, showcasing new camera modes, screen technologies and rare camera designs at a premium phone price tag. We gave the phone a glowing review, praising in particular its macro photography mode using a bespoke rare lens, its great looking screen with a high resolution and refresh rate, and the processing power provided by its top end chipset. While the phone represents the best tech Xiaomi has right now, its cost might put some people off it. Despite that, if you're looking for a great smartphone for the company, it should be the first one you consider. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have liked it. Don't forget to check out the links in the description for the price info. See you guys in the next video. Stay tuned and stay blessed.